It's one of the most emotional movie experiences you will have all year. Till is in theaters now. Find out why it's a recommendation. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. Till is finally in theaters, and I believe it got an extended release this weekend. Are you all seeing it? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you have, did you enjoy it? In 1955, after Emmett Till is murdered in a brutal lynching, his mother vows to expose the racism behind the attack while working to have those involved brought to justice. This film is rated PG-13 for thematic content involving racism, strong disturbing images, and racial slurs. Oh my, I didn't even realize it was rated PG-13 because while watching this film, I could see it being rated R. It's a difficult film to watch, but not because they choose to focus on the violence of the act that is committed uh, about one third of the way into the film, an act that is uh, obviously going to be brutal and relentless and disgusting, but they don't really focus on that aspect of it. It's more about the fallout. It's more about the emotion from this young boy's mother and his entire family, those that were there at the time that he was taken and the remorse, the guilt that so many people feel, even though it wasn't really any of their faults. It happened because of the disgusting acts of a couple of individuals and the racism behind those motivations. Again, it's a true story, it's heartbreaking, and I could see some of that backlash start to build up before the movie's release, and in a way, understandably so. We don't want to see this play out on screen. Once again, how many times have we had to see these types of acts in movies, and the fact that the true story is already gut-wrenching enough, uh, why would we want to see these events played out in a violent way once more? But thankfully, the movie chose not to focus on that aspect of it. We really don't even see the things that a lot of people were worried about us seeing. It really is, and, and it does have to do almost entirely with his mother, Mammy Till Mobley, who is played by Danielle Deadweiler. Uh, that's a name that you're going to have to keep in your brain come Oscar season, uh, and I know I was talking up Kate Blanchett and her performance and, and all of the amazing performances we've gotten this year. This is right up there with the best of the best. This is a star-making performance, not one, not two, but numerous scenes where she has to sit and you know either deliver a monologue or a really emotional moment that continues to go. It's sitting and making you emotional as an audience member, and almost all of it falls solely on her shoulders. Yes, the script, yes, the way the movie chooses to go about it, and all of those things are handled with care, don't worry, uh, but her performance blown away. I mean, devastated. And I got so emotional while watching this movie. And I knew I would get emotional just because of the acts, but it all comes down to how does the movie choose to tell it? What is the focus of a film like this? You are walking a very fine line of leaning too heavily into one thing or, you know, making it overwhelming the point that you're trying to get across. Just tell the true story and tell it in a way to where it serves its purpose and it does it justice. And I believe it did. And the movie managed to turn a couple of my fears into a... Uh, yeah, I, I was wrong, and I'm glad I was wrong about this film not being able to handle this story in a way that benefited all of those involved and looked down upon those who, you know, took part in these acts and, and makes you, while watching this, really mad, really pissed off. Man, I felt this way about more than a few movies this year, you know, whether it be a true story or just, you know, giving us a character or two that do such despicable acts, and you're watching, you're just like, man, I wish... I wish I was there, man. I just, yeah, I just, oh. How could people act like this? How could people get away with something like this? And then seeing the results of their actions and seeing it. That's why I was kind of shocked this movie was rated PG-13. Not because of the cursing or anything like that. Seeing the results of these actions, that's what's so frustrating about it. Because how do you see this and just look past it? And that's what bothered me so much about this movie. It bothered me in a way that benefited the film. And there were so many things that this movie chose to do uh, that worked really well for it. Now, does it fall into some of these conventional biopic 
tropes that we've seen in films like this before. Yes, does it choose to focus on certain moments that maybe feel a bit prolonged, and there are scenes in this film to where it feels like it's not moving at a pace fast enough, or as fast as it should be moving to get us to that end goal, and then there is a point in the film to where you think things are starting to wrap up, and they continue, and I'm like, oh, well, that's following the conventional biopic method that we've seen at numerous times. So, in those ways, the movie doesn't choose to do anything awe-inspiring or all that different from what we've seen in the past from other films, but it comes down to the story that's being handled here, and the story is compelling enough to where it gets us past some of those issues that I had with the film itself. Our great Jalen Hall, who plays Emmett, Haley Bennett, even though uh, you love to hate her, she's really good in the movie. Whoopi Goldberg is great. She has a nice emotional moment in there. So the performances across the board work extremely well, but they all kind of revolve, like the planets revolve around the sun. These performances, they all revolve around this one performance that is, I mean, every single second of her screen time. She is commanding our attention, and I couldn't look away when she was on screen. I want to give this movie a score, but before I do that, be sure to drop your comments and your likes down below if you're not subscribed to this channel. We're always talking new releases. Uh, Till manages to avoid feeling overly reliant on the violence behind this brutal act. Instead, the focus is on the emotions that come from this tragedy, the fallout of this event, and the remarkable performance from Danielle Deadweiler. And again, uh, I expect a nomination. I don't know. She could be in line to win it. We'll have to see. I'm going at 82% with my score. Uh, this is the kind of film that you want to see with the crowd and in a theater because the emotions, they will carry through that theater. I am so curious to see what you all think about this film. Did it overly rely on some of those biopic cliches or did it avoid those thanks to these performances and uh, the overall feel of the film? Thanks for watching. See you soon.